welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Carolina. Thank you so much for watching. So in today's video, I'm going to be trying out this palette by Wet n Wild. This is the Call Me Sunshine palette. It's the one that has like that beautiful gold shade. And I really wanted to do a look with this palette because it was just so, so pretty. And I actually picked up some brushes online on a Morphe's website. And I was like, you know what? This would be the best time to try out the brushes and also this palette. I know a few of you guys said that you were interested in me trying out more of these Wet n Wild palettes. And if you guys want to see how I achieve this eyeshadow look and my thoughts on these products, just keep watching. Okay, love, so let's go ahead and get started. I have all my face makeup done. The only thing that I'm missing are the eyes because I'm going to be trying out some brushes by Morphe, which I have right here. So I got all these online from Morphe's website. And I have 10 brushes here to try out. I haven't tried out these specific ones. And I'm also going to be using this palette by Wet n Wild. This is the color icon palette in Call Me Sunshine. And so, so pretty. So I think I'm going to go in with this gold shade on my lid because it's just like so pretty. It's calling my name. Let me like swatch it for you guys. Oh my god. Do you guys see how pigmented that is? Beautiful. So pretty. So the first brush that I have is this one. The M173 brush this is described as a mini buffer. And I really wanted to try this out just because I have a couple of uh, brushes for when I do my eyeshadow primer or like use a concealer to prime my eyes. Um, and I really like, but I wanted to try another one. So I thought this one was going to be a good one because it's really nice and dense. So I thought it was going to be perfect to get right here. And it's not huge. I don't have a whole lot of lid space to work with. So I wanted to get something that was small and compact and dense. So I really like this one. So the next one is this one, the M521 brush. This is the Chisel Oval Shadow Brush. It's more of a flat buffing brush, um, but I'm excited to test this out to get right in the crease. The next one I have is this one, the M573. This is the Pointed Deluxe Blender Brush. And I also really like this one because I do have some pencil brushes, but not anything extremely similar to this. The next one is the M433, the Pro Firm Blending Fluff Brush. And this one reminds me so much of the other brush by Morphe, but that, uh, but that one is much, much bigger. This one's definitely like a smaller version of it. So it reminds me of the M521 brush but it's like a smaller version of it. Then I have this one, the M456 brush, and this one is the Mini Firm Blending Brush. This one also reminds me of these two, but this one's definitely smaller. It's a little bit skinnier. There's not as many bristles on this brush, um, but they all feel super soft. Then I have this one, the M506, the Tapered Mini Blender. It is also like a blending brush, but it's skinnier and it's more tapered at the top. So I thought this was going to be perfect either for the lower lash shine or any detail work right in the inner corner. The next one is this one, the M124 brush. It's the Firm Shadow Brush. And I wanted to pick this up because I wanted to see if I could maybe do a cut crease with this. It's really nice and flat. Then I have the M213 brush, which this is a smudger brush. So I wanted to get this for like my inner corner. I thought it was gonna be like the perfect shape and size for my inner corner. So like right here or even down the center of my nose. I thought it was gonna be like the perfect size. Um, and then the last two brushes I have are these two. So I have the M432 and the M410. Both of them are very similar, as you can see. So the M410, they describe as the flat concealer brush and the M432, they describe it as a flat definer brush. So I really wanted to try both of these out to see which one is going to give me more of a precise line for concealer right here. 
So sometimes I have a hard time where my concealer can like transfer to like my brows and then I have to like clean them up. So I wanted to try these out to see if they will help with that. So I'm gonna be using my P. Louise base and this brush, the Morphe M173 brush. So I'm excited to see how this is gonna apply in my eyeshadow primer. Really soft. Oh yeah, I like that. I like this a lot. It's not poking me or anything. And I also like to like tap in the primer to kind of set it. I do have a harder time getting right here, really precise. Um, let me take this brush, the Morphe M432 brush, and see if I can get a little bit of a sharper line right under my eyebrows. So I'm gonna put a little bit on here. This one's really soft too, and definitely it's giving me that precise line that I want. You can see like the difference. So I like this brush too. I'm gonna go into the palette, and I think I'm gonna take this light shade first, and I'm gonna be using the M521 brush, and kind of just places on my crease. Hopefully this palette doesn't give me too much fallout since I already have the rest of my face makeup done. I'm just tapping out the excess and I'm gonna start right here. Oh, that's pigmented. This brush is really, really soft. I'm gonna keep going back into that shade to build this up. Blended out so nice, had no issues blending out this eyeshadow with this brush. So now I'm gonna go in with the M573. Now I'm gonna take this shade right here in the middle. It's definitely darker and deeper than the first shade that I used to kind of deepen this up a little bit right in the crease. Again, this brush is really soft as well. I like that it's pointy because it's getting right where I want it, right in that crease. And it's blending it out really nice as well. I'm gonna take the darkest brown from the palette, which is this one, and I'm gonna go in with the M433 brush. And hopefully this doesn't give us too much fallout. I'm gonna start placing this on the outer corner. So this one is not as soft as the other ones that I use. I have tried brushes in the past where like the bristles do feel kind of scratchy. This one does feel scratchy and not as soft as the other one. So again, this one is the M433. So if I kind of angle it this way, then it doesn't feel as scratchy. But if I start going like this, it definitely feels more scratchy. It doesn't feel as soft as the other ones. I feel like it's a little bit more stiff. So this one's okay. The shade is not giving me any fallout. So I really like that. And I mean the brush is blending out the color, but it's just a little bit too stiff and it is scratchy. So this one's not my favorite one. I wanna try this one, the uh, four, five, six. Yeah, this one feels better. It's really soft and it doesn't feel scratchy.
With whatever's left over on the brush, I'm just going to bring it to the inner corner, kind of back and forth. And I only got like a tiny bit of fallout with this shade, but not bad. I'm going to take the M124 brush and I'm going to attempt to do a cut crease with this brush and see if it's going to let me. Um, I'm going to take the Peel Away Space again and I'm just going to add some to the back of my hand. So I did clean up a little bit of my lid. So now I'm going to go in with the Peel Away Space. So not too bad, not horrible. I feel like it's okay. Not my favorite one for doing a cut crease, but not bad. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with this beautiful gold and I'm gonna take the small brush, the M213 brush. Look how gorgeous that is, oh my God, this is beautiful. I can't believe this palette is $6. Like I would spend $6 or more than the $6 on this one eyeshadow because it's beautiful. But just be careful because you do get fallout. I have a lot of fallout on my face right now, but it's okay. I'm going to clean it up in a second. I actually took the Morphe M506 brush. I went back in with those dark matte brown shades. So this one, this one, and this one. I kind of just mix it all together and it kind of um, added a little bit more to the crease just because it kind of went away when I did the cut crease. I do really like this brush because it gets right in here. I'm going to go in with the M456 brush and again, just kind of mix those shades and add it right here to get rid of that harsh line. So it looks a little bit more blended. For a lower lash, I'm gonna go back into the M506. And again, I'm just gonna mix those matte shades and add it right on that lower lash line. So right here. Okay, loves, I'm back. So I went ahead and fixed my hair a little bit and changed my shirt. This is going to be the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video of me trying out some Morphe brushes and this palette by Wet n Wild. I'm really enjoying this palette. It was really easy to use. It blends really nice, pigmented, creamy. I didn't get a whole lot of fallout. I did get some fallout, obviously, from the darker shade. So again, I would just recommend doing your eyes uh, first and then doing the rest of your face makeup. $6 for 10 shades is honestly a steal, in my opinion. So if you guys are looking for new eyeshadow palettes or you want to try more products out from the drugstore, I would definitely recommend trying out these new palettes by Wet n Wild. As far as the brushes, I do really like Morphe brushes. They're pretty good quality for the price um, but if you can splurge a little bit more on brushes I would say go with Sigma brushes. Sigma brushes are amazing quality. I really do love Sigma brushes more than Morphe brushes but if you're in a budget I would say just go with these ones by Morphe because they're still really great quality for what you pay for. But yes loves that's going to be it for this video and I hope you guys enjoyed how this look came out. Let me know down below if there's any other looks you guys want me to do with any of the Wet n Wild palettes or any other palettes that you guys want me to test out here on my channel or try out. Thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!